All right, folks, we have some fascinating uh, updates for you guys. So, obviously, we've been talking about the potential of a Nintendo Switch to reveal this month, and some of the most recent stuff came from a guy named Christopher Dring and Andy Robinson. And what's interesting is they both did a combined podcast episode they put out today where they clarify what they have heard and obviously the fact that, hey, if they always, if they thought that this was like a flag in the ground moment where they have these exclusive scoops on a reveal this month, they would have probably made some editorials and articles about it, right? Instead, they're sort of just talking about it on social media because it's more so just things they are hearing, uh, but not, you know, Oh, a, a directly in some cases like it sounds like Andy Robinson hasn't heard directly from any of his sources that Switch 2 is being revealed this month but he has heard from other journalists and then Christopher Dring kind of comes out and explains where he heard about whispers of Switch 2 being revealed this month but again whispers are whispers they're not you know hard facts so we're gonna dive into that we also have man what if I were to tell you guys that um, a very, very infamous, but also very reliable leaker looks like they're back and they have a bunch of information, some of it about Switch 2 and backwards compatibility, some of it about their online infrastructure, some of it about a brand new game, kind of new, coming from Monolith Soft for Switch 1 and Switch 2 in 2025. Oh, we got a lot to get into today. This is pretty exciting stuff. So if you're enjoying all these updates on Switch 2, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel so we can continue to grow this community together. We're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers. And yes, drop a likes on this video as well. I would love to get 1,000 likes on some video at some point this year. And if it happens, man, oh, man, oh, man, I uh, got something cooking for you. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. First, we got to talk about the Switch 2 reveal stuff because Christopher Dring from GameIndustry.biz, uh, Andy Robinson from VGC, they both went on the Video Game Chronicles podcast today and had something to say. So we're going to go ahead and don't jump to that because this has to do with the reveal <laughs> of the Nintendo Switch 2. People are screaming at the top of their lungs now. Chris Dring, what's going on with the Switch 2? Mm -hmm. they re they're revealing it this month? Is it happening? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah? Right, folks, uh, <laughs> no, patreon.com slash video games chronicle. We'll see you next time. Um, I don't know. I did, I, I did a, I thought of, you two can't heard... stop tweeting about it, and now it's getting, it's getting plastered all over once, the internet. There's rumors swirling, once, and you two are the swirlers. I said there were with, there's, there's a bit in that. You've shined a spotlight scenes. onto something that is not supposed to have a spotlight shined on it, Jordan. I, I, there was, me, I was actually just you two, <laughs> once I just on it. But, but this is the thing, this is the modern one, and Chris is that we'll have the same mindset as me, right? Like, I started writing on magazines, right? We're magazine people, okay? In our generation, if it's not in print, it's not important, it's not, it's off the record chit chat. When I put stuff onto Twitter, and I've learned the hard way in the past, and Chris has as well, you just put something, oh, just thing I've heard on social media, and it goes, people are like, that's gospel. And they hold you to it. I get held all the time for, oh, you said this thing on Twitter might happen, and it didn't happen. It's like, well, but if I didn't write a news story about it, I'm not putting yeah. my my flag in the sand. You know, I'm not saying this is a thing. That's not me put it, placing my big bet. That's me having four pints and tweeting, <laughs> you know. Um, that, that's that, that's some me sitting around going to Gamescom and having some chats with people yeah. and they're going, oh, I heard I heard they might be announcing Switch this month. Oh, really? Who did you hear that from? Just my mate at Devolver. Oh, okay. And so like, oh, I heard they might be announcing Switch this month. So I go, oh, there's a bit of whispers going on that Switch might be announced this month. Oh, cock, Switch is being I mean, announced. We, 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 we announced sound like we're wheeling we're back, right? But now, obviously, we need to talk about it but it, because of it's, yeah. It could um, happen. I, 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 look, if I thought, if I was anywhere near above even 50% certain that it was going to happen it would be a news story on our website i wouldn't be wasting this stuff for for twitter because the other thing is is and this i don't think this is how chris thinks but certainly it's how i think it's like well usually if you're working on a story other journalists working on a story so i put it on 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 social media i'm basically just tip giving someone else the story right to scoop me um it's you know i've i've heard from like there's three, four, five different journalists independently now who I've spoken to who have all heard maybe something is happening in uh, September. And from that point going on, they go on to explain how they have firsthand knowledge that Nintendo has changed plans 
last minute, even sometimes within 24 hours. They also went over a PlayStation thing where PlayStation also changed pricing on something that they had given a scoop to one of their magazines about. Uh, and then literally 24 hours later, the price was $20 cheaper than what they were told. So they just go on to point out that, hey, they're not making articles about it. So this is just sort of industry whispers that are going on where there's a lot of chatter about the Nintendo Switch shoe being revealed in September, but nothing that feels like, you know, super concrete to them personally. It's not as if a Nintendo employee walked up to them and just told them, hey guys, we're revealing the system this month. I mean, no, no. So uh, they're just putting that clarification out there. This is still kind of like speculation based on uh, things that are being said by several people, uh, probably during the Gamescom situation. And now we just sit back and see if anything happens. It is kind of interesting that, Christopher Jig did bring up Devolver Digital because it sounds like Devolver Digital might be one of the sources for Nintendo Switch 2 being revealed this month. So don't know if he should have said that. Hey, I, my buddy said this. He works at Devolver Digital. Like, hey, it's it's maybe maybe he should have said that, but uh, unless he was just using it as an example and Devolver Digital wasn't involved at all. But anyways, uh, that is sort of the situation surrounding the Nintendo Switch 2 being revealed. Now, we have other things uh, we need to get to. Because, again, we don't know if it's being revealed this month. Obviously, I have a hot chip challenge on it. But uh, if you guys remember someone we were covering a long time ago called Midori. Uh, Midori turned out to be lying about their entire identity and pretending to be this Japanese woman. It was a very weird thing. But all of their information was essentially correct. Uh, everything they put out there was right. Now, that account has been deleted. There's been apologies. We're not going to dive into that. It appears Midori, though, is back under a new account over on X called Ryan from the Bronx. And I'm not quite sure if I could like, really verify if this is actually Midori. I want to make this clear. However, they did provide public information on how they obtained their data as Midori and how they're currently obtaining their information now. And it seems to check out. Now, we're not going to deep dive into that. That feels like something that deserves a live stream or something like that to really go into it. Uh, just know that I've looked into it, and it does seem that how this person is getting their information is pretty legit. So what are we going to learn from all of this? Well, let's go ahead and dive in. This first tweet we have here uh, says, The project I've mentioned here is not connected to the tales is the first of two projects between Bandai Namco Studios and Nintendo titled Project Win Internally. This is not the final title. And if we go look at this, it says Bandai Namco has been working on another project since last September. One I haven't mentioned, not Project Chronicle. So this move makes sense. The project I'm talking about here is by Ilka and Orca and is done entirely by in-house studio at Bandai Namco. And again, they're not talking about a Tales game specifically. So I think that's pretty interesting just to have some code names for some projects thrown out there. Obviously, we know Bandai Namco has dedicated studios working with Nintendo, so the idea they're making Nintendo games isn't really shocking, but it's just something to throw out there. I just wanted to make sure you guys are fully up to date in case you want to speculate on what those code names might mean. But we have even more stuff from him, more concrete exact details to talk about, and this relates directly to Switch 2. Uh, first one here, so the Switch 2 uses almost the exact same online structure as the current Nintendo Switch, which might upset some people, um, but it does add additional functionality as well. You can download and transfer between Nintendo Switch and the unannounced successor, which that really shouldn't be a surprise. Nintendo's probably going to make that transition as smooth as possible. An updated eShop with improved media functionality. That, that is the one I want to focus on. Let me read that again. Updated eShop with improved media functionality. I don't know what the improved media functionality is, but the fact they're updating the eShop and making any major changes, yes, 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 is one of the biggest things I want changed with Nintendo Switch 2. I want them to update the eShop and improve how we can find games. Oh, man. Like, I know this is still a rumor, and but, man, I... This I've been screaming like, every time someone asks me, "Hey, what's this? What do you want? Uh, what do you want different with Nintendo Switch 2?" The eShop's like the first thing I say. Updated eShop. So yes, that does excite me. Of course, still a rumor, unverified. We'll have to see if this stuff checks out. Uh, but then he goes on to say, additionally, NPLN has been updated to add support for UGC, user-generated content. EA is currently working on a title for the unannounced Nintendo Switch successor as well. Uh, analysis of server structures shows usage of the same services consistent with the current hardware. So, in other words, Nintendo has added some services in place on the back end for uh, developers for user-generated content. So, for games where you can make your own stuff 
um, and distribute them to other users. They've, they've somehow put some sort of infrastructure in place for third parties. EA might be taking advantage of that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's just cool to hear that EA is supporting in general. Um, but now we got to get into some Swiss shoe backwards compatibility stuff, which again, we have some pretty reliable information that there is backwards compatibility. But here are some more details. Ryan from the Bronx says, to expand on the Switch shoe backwards compatibility rumors, next Nintendo Switch hardware will also contain a download and transfer service between the two consoles to make it easier to play Switch 2 versions of Switch games, such as the aforementioned Xenoblade Chronicles X port next year. Wait, wait, what are we talking about? Why are we talking about Xenoblade Chronicles X? Uh, oh, I guess we should uh, update you on that as well. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X port for Switch will be released next year. They're not skipping to Xenoblade 4. This port was also made with Switch 1 hardware in mind, but will also be compatible with Switch 2. So folks, if you've been waiting for that Xenoblade Chronicles X, you know, port to happen to Switch, seems like we're going to get it next year, but there is going to be a, like, Switch 2 version of it. And that's sort of what I take away from a couple of these tweets. Like, if you go back to this one that we were looking at before, you know, where it talks about easier to play Switch 2 versions of Switch games, it does make it sound like some of these games that are backwards compatible, that are going to be playable on Switch, are going to have, like, Switch 2 versions of games, and they're not going to conflict with each other when you're doing game transfers. And I think that is... Obviously Obviously something Nintendo would have had to sort out. Like if you have updated enhanced versions on Switch 2, and then you saw the original Switch 1 version, and you're doing all this transferring between systems, how's it going to impact, you know, your files and everything on Switch 2? It sounds like they sorted all that out. Guys, this is all just exciting information. This is a lot of stuff packed into like a 12, 13, 14 minute video. I'm just, guys, it, Switch 2 is coming. We already know Nintendo said the successor is coming. So, uh, God aboard the hype train, everyone! <laughs> Let's go, baby! I'm so excited. Uh, go ahead and uh, let me know what you think about all this stuff down below. Oh, catch you in the next video. <laughs>